just fun how you get to speak the way you want to speak. Um, happy here. I still want to come to this camp because because it is such a good camp. If I'm speaking somewhere like like big outside side out of camp, then sometimes I feel a bit n n nervous. It was really nice to um, hear one more person start off for the first time. Yeah, it's like, all right, so it's not just me. Yeah. For more, let's bring in the camp director, Rich Stevens. Rich, very good morning to you. Hello, good morning. How, how important is this camp for, for those kids uh, in that it uh, provides them with a, a safe and accepting place? Yeah, look, it's crucial. Um, you know, I'm a person who has a stutter and I remember when um, in my childhood, um, I didn't know anyone else who had a stutter. So a lot of the children um, who find our space are kind of in the same boat, really. They think they are the only person in the world who has a stutter. And what that can lead to is a lot of, you know, isolation, a lot of loneliness, a lot of confusion as well. Um, and a lot of feelings of not belonging to a community and feeling like you have to fit, change the way you speak to fit into the general world. So, um, and unfortunately, a consequence of that, um, which is a tragic kind of con uh, consequence, is um, they silence themselves for fear of being and kind of bullied or made and kind of fud us. So at camp, they come here and a lot of them don't know anyone else who has a stutter and they come to this space and there's kids who just sound like them, kids uh, who have a stutter and their world is blown because they realise they're not the only one in this world and how they speak right now is beautiful. Take us through your experience, uh, Rich. You, you have, you've had a stutter since the age of four. How challenging has it been for you over periods of time? Yeah, um, like I said, it... <sighs> It was really challenging. You, like, like I thought I was the only person in this world, you know, um, who had a stutter. A lot of people who have a stutter, um, from the stories I've learned from other people and from my own experiences, that like almost everyone who has a stutter, uh, you find it hard to say your name. You, like, you know, and you think of how many times you have to, you know, introduce yourself, and, and you know, your name is part of you. Not being able to say your name. Um, even in class, you might know the answer to a question, but the fear of raising your hand and speaking and getting the negative reactions from people um, can really cause you to be silent because you don't want to be found out, I guess. Um, so as a kid, yeah, it, look, it was tough. But as, as I said, one, one of the hardest things was just, I just thought it was me. I didn't know there was 80 million other people around the world who had a stutter, and that's all I really wanted to do, really. I just wanted to hear another stutter and just to meet another child like me who I could just speak with and you know just hang with and just know I wasn't the only one. And here, here you are on TV all those years later making your point uh, perfectly and magnificently Rich. So wh where, where do the kids come from who attend the camp? So we have kids who come from all across Australia. Um, we have kids who come from all across the States and we actually um, have a young person who's come from New Zealand as well. Um, so that's great because, um, and especially during the COVID years, we were doing programming online. So these kids were meeting online from all these other States. And one of the most beautiful experiences is just when you see them um, meeting for the first time when they've been engaging online for years and then they come to this space and, and, you know, just a quick one, we had two boys um, who were connecting online for two years, one from Western Australia, um, one from Queensland, and then they met for the first time and it was just beautiful to see their connection. So, so yeah, it's open to all kids um, from across Australia and New Zealand. Um, yeah, and it's just beautiful to see them to connect in person because that's where the true kind of magic happens. Is it life-changing for kids? Yeah, it's, it's, it is life-changing. We provide the unique experiences, like I said, for a lot of kids who stutter don't meet another person. They don't hear a stutter in the media, they don't read a stutter in books. Um, so when they come and they just see, they hear other people who have a stutter. You know, half of our staff are people who have a stutter as well. And what, and what, and what you find is the connection, the sense of finding a community, it's instant 
Um, and these kids, what they do there, just having conversations, they're being kids, they're talking about, you know, sport, um, the books they love, the films they love, and just that freedom to know that they can speak in this space without people, you know, really caring how they say the words. People just care about the words that they say. So, yeah, it's truly life, life-changing. And then we see the the transference of the confidence here to when they go back home into their everyday life, especially at school as well. So, yeah, it's um, the trajectory that we see, the positive, is it's instant it's instant when they just meet another person who sounds like them.